Hi Scorpio and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for all your support so far and if you're new here welcome. So what I'm doing today is a reading for those of you with someone you're separated from but you feel there's a strong connection with that person. You wonder what's going on. So however you want to label it, you could be twin flames, soulmates, soul tie. But you get the feeling they're coming back. Okay, so let's see what comes out. Um, let's see your energy first of all. I feel you're trying to manifest communication from this person. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sagittarius or Leo. Yeah, they're on your mind. You might be checking them out sometimes online. Could be an Aquarius. So bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, if this is your energy, there could have been a separation from this person, divorce even for some of you. Yeah, it might have been a lot, very long term com com um, commitment, sorry, with the Ten of Pentacles. You might have a child with the Page of Pentacles. Capricorn Taurus Virgo but I'm also with this card feeling a sense of reminiscing looking at what you learnt from this connection self-reflection um, now some of you do might have communication coming in with the eight of wands nine of cups it makes you very it will make you very happy Lots of things suddenly start happening for you. Yeah, but some of you might not trust this. You might not trust the person because of what happened in the past. There could have been some deception. And you think, well, you need to prove yourself first. It's a bit of mixed emotions there. You feel happy, but also you're like, mm, not, not so sure. And there's your energy, Scorpio, the death card, transformation. So this cycle you're in is going to really change, change you. You might purge quite a lot, release. And it's like a rebirth with the death card. Okay, so let's now have a look at this person's energy I feel they're at a bit of a crossroads could be an Aries they are thinking about you could be a Libra or Gemini Virgo Pisces They're starting to feel more enlightened, definitely holding on to you. Could be a Virgo. many cards. We'll see if any of them come out again. Oops. 
Okay, we'll take those two up right ones. So, justice at the bottom of the deck. Karma that they've been going through. Could be a Libra, could be a divorce. For some of them, yeah, something in, in love, in relation to love. The Four of Wands. So I feel they're manifesting this connection with you. I do get Twin Flame energy here coming through. Um, what I'm feeling from these two is they're moving on from a situation to be single, to find their happiness. They realise what their happiness is. They want to manifest that. They could be quite spiritual. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Going within, you know, finding the answers within in terms of what they want. Having hope. Healing. You know, it's like they're holding on to that connection with you. Aquarius energy. Wow, yeah, so they're going to realise what you were to them. You were like a gift. Um, they want to offer stability. And with the Knight of Swords here, as well as it being them running away from their situation, they want to get on that bike and come to you. That's what I'm feeling here. So as you go through this change, so do they. So it's definitely mirroring twin flames potentially so let's see the potential outcome for this person yeah so they need to take a bit of time out to heal go with him might have been through a bit of a painful situation, but they're going to start manifesting with the magician and find the courage to come towards you, to take that leap of faith. Aries, Leo, energy there. So there, you know, with that infinity symbol, again, twin flames, they're... Um, Visualising you, basically. So, Scorpio's potential outcome. Okay, beautiful. So you got an ace, ace of cups. Divine love on the way. Um, secrets are going to be unveiled things are going to be in, um, revealed and you're going to move forward um, you might even move with these two cards the person on your mind I feel is the one that returns here um, this could be the feminine energy that comes in. With the chariot I see the two yin and yang balancing. Twin flames again. Uh, Pisces Cancer energy. Okay let's take a few romance angels for you. Um, I hope you I hope you like this new setup by the way just wanted to change things up a little bit. Let me know if you like it. Okay, keep your, keep an open mind. So I feel they may come in in a in a rather unusual way, or quite abruptly, with that Knight of Swords out of the blue. Make the effort. So some of you are a little bit hesitant because we had that Seven of Swords before, but you're being guided to make the effort.
Okay, two more there. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking will bring you romance. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, which is what I feel, as I said. Um, you know, about twin flames, potentially. So there's a lot of affection there. And um, commitment. Adoration, I'm hearing. Okay, a little new thing here. Um, I've got these channeled messages from the feminine. So whoever's the feminine in your connection, these are the messages from her. Remember, some of you, you could be masculine, you could be male, but in the feminine energy. So the feminine wants to say, I love everything about you. No one has ever made me feel the way you do. I have surrendered to the universe and I have faith. Yeah. And the subconscious, the bottom of the deck, I sometimes visualize us being together in the future. Yeah, now I got that for this person's energy, didn't I, with the magician? So it could be them who is the feminine, but flip it, obviously. Okay, so now blue for the masculines. Um, sorry, it's a bit cliche, but just makes it easier to differentiate. Oops, that's way too many. So, I often think back to that day. So it's having memories about something at the moment with that four of wands, you know, it could be when they had a good time with you. I don't want to let people down. I'm scared of what others think. Yeah, so I feel this is their energy because as I said, I feel they have to walk away from something and they're a little bit scared about what's going to happen, what people are going to think. Yeah, there you go. I feel stuck in my current situation. Okay, so that's quite clear. In their thoughts, the subconscious, the things you said still linger in my mind. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of like replaying, thinking about that time they had with you, but they're stuck. That's what we're getting here. Okay, let's take a few oracle cards to finish. Okay, so. Wow. We've got simple acts of kindness, first of all. Number five, change. So this could be how they reach out to you, something like a little gift. And this also could be a message to you, um, you know, that kindness energises you, brings you happiness. Maybe some of you like animals. Also, you might be seeing two of something at the moment, because we've got two foxes, two badgers, which I feel is a sign of union. Okay, and pretty amazing. We also got spiritual connection, which is pretty obvious, as we know. Um, this connection goes beyond this lifetime. Um, telepathically, I feel you're connected. One of you has started ascending probably the feminine but um doesn't mean it's a female 
You might both like dancing, walking, nature, so only getting nature. Yeah, and you're having dreams about each other. 27 equaling a 9, so change again, spiritual change. So change is coming. I feel strongly for this person. Okay, wow. First time this has happened, but the candle has just gone out. That's amazing. Um, yeah, so talking about the changes for this person, as I said that, um, the candle going out in their connection, the light, the flame, and they, they want to come back to you. Wow, Scorpio, this is a pretty amazing reading in a few ways. Um, of course, the battery just went a moment ago, so I had to um, change it and continue the end bit, paste it together. So, wow, this feels like a very powerful reading for you, Scorpio. I was also guided to do your sign just now by spirit. So there's obviously a, a reason for that. Wow. Okay, so let me know if this resonates in the comments. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe. Wishing you peace, love and light on your journeys and see you next time.